good people welcome back to mb moments my name is miriro i'm so 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 excited to have you back if you're new here welcome i really do hope you enjoy some of the content that i actually post on this channel and i hope you do decide to join the family so today i'm coming with a video that i've been wanting to do for the longest time you guys so i wanted to speak on purpose because i believe that it is one of the most important things that we each need to find out about ourselves i really am going to try and keep it nice and short so that you can then go and pray about this area for you to find out what your specific purpose is you need to get in shape so s is for spiritual gifts spiritual gifts are spoken about in first corinthians chapter 12 to 13 they're spoken about in ephesians 4 and they're also spoken about in romans 12 if i'm not mistaken yes so romans 12 so i really do implore you to go and read those chapters and find out what different spiritual gifts actually exist that you may have and might already know that you have for example, they are different. The people with the gifts of prophecy, people with the gift of teaching, people with the gift of wisdom, people with the gift of um, discernment. There are so many different ones. Just read those chapters and find out what your specific spiritual gifts are. Then the H stands for heart. Oh, this is a really big one. Where is your heart? What are you passionate about? What sets your heart on fire? You know, there's things that some people might not necessarily enjoy. And for you, it's like, oh my God, I absolutely enjoy that. What are those things that you can spend hours doing without even seeing that, oh my God, the time has passed. You know, it's really important for you to know what is it that sets your heart on fire? For some people, it's music. For some people, it's creating things. For some people, just different things. So find out what sets your heart on fire. The A stands for abilities. You know, there are people with specific, special abilities that some people don't naturally have. There are people with an artistic eye that, you know, other people might not necessarily understand and they might not even have. They're people with the ability to cook you know people with a special ability to you know to speak to converse it's not everybody who has that ability what are your special abilities some things you might actually maybe have studied you know maybe you're in architecture now that's a special ability that you now have that you can actually use for it to be in line with your purpose what is your ability and how can you use it for the glory of god another thing that i always mention about abilities is that one way you can actually find out is about like it's from people around you there are certain things that people around you might keep on mentioning and you're like oh okay and like people will keep telling you oh you're you're you're, you're so encouraging and maybe that's an ability a special ability that god has given you to encourage other people oh oh my gosh you're so artistic i have a friend who she notices the smallest detail and the artsy bits and I'm always telling her, you are so artistic. And that's a natural ability that she has. So think about what your abilities are, pray about them, and that will help you know what your purpose might be as well. The P stands for personality. We are all different in this world. People have different personalities. You know, we have extroverts, we have introverts. And I've actually recently seen on social media, some people are saying, I'm an introverted Intro, um, extrovert i'm an extroverted introvert but whatever it is you also need to know what your personality type is because that speaks to your purpose that speaks to who the type of people you are called to as well and the a stands for experiences which is such a big big thing this is what i always say our experiences should never go to waste god you know, allow certain things to happen in our lives for them to build us. Think of Job in the Bible. What he went through was really rough, but God allowed it because that's an experience that he was also able to see the glory of God in his life, but other people were able to learn from that. Up to now, we still sp speak of Job and we've learned something from his story because of that experience. I know myself personally, some experiences that I've had, you know, speak to like maybe me having to go and speak to young women, young people, you know in different circumstances because I have had certain experiences in my life that are specific to such people and your experiences can be family experiences spiritual experiences experiences in ministry you know your educational experiences all those are supposed to to also assist you walk in your purpose. The Bible says all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose so all things not just good things not just bad things not every single experience that you've had should work for the good of you and even those around you as well 
I really do hope you found this video useful. I really do hope you're going to go and read some of the scriptures that I've mentioned in this video and pray about what your specific purpose is. And hopefully one day I'll get to flesh out, you know, the importance of purpose. And if you actually do know what your purpose is, how you can go about now walking in your purpose. But for now, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you in my next video. Toodles!